How's it going, boys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I've been gone for a couple of days and a lot has happened. So I thought, hey, what better way to come back to make my triumphant return than by talking some FNAF news. First up, I just wanna say thank you for your patience. Sorry I wasn't able to put Security Breach out this week. It'll be happening next week, I swear. All right, what's up? It's me, editing Johnny Blocks. I meant to say Security Breach week, um, but I, instead I just said Security Breach, and now all I can think about is Scott Cawthon or Steel Wolf saying that in like a tweet or a Reddit post there. That's funny, anyways, moving on. And also I'm back. I'm ready to make videos again. We got FNAF news tonight. We got all this stuff tomorrow. As you can clearly see, I'm missing uh, Chocolate Freddy. He arrives tomorrow. So since I've been gone for so long, and since we are so close to 16K subs, can you please hit the sub button? It really does help me out quite a lot, actually. And also smash and like if you do enjoy the video. So let's not waste any more time. Let's talk about the news. Starting off with a collaboration. I know Scott said we weren't getting any this year, but he kind of lied. I'm just kidding, kind of. So if you didn't hear the news, Darko confirmed that his brand Hex, which if you don't know, is a comic book series, what should hopefully be a future game, maybe a show later on, voice acting, it's freaking huge. We talked about it in a previous video, I'll leave that link down below if you missed it. He confirmed in one of his videos and on Twitter, replying to moi, that FNAF and Hex will be collaborating and bringing some, quote, teen rated cool looking plushies to the community. Darko has a concept of a Fredbear Hex plushie, I'll put it up on screen right now. I'm not quite sure what he means by more teen rated. I guess maybe stuff that Funko usually isn't allowed to put on plushies such as blood. I'm not sure, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Also, I have seen, I, I said it as a joke, you know, like Scott lied to us about collaborations. I think the only reason why this is a exception is because it's Darko, you know? It's not like Darko's a huge company, it's not Epic Games, it's not a... The people that made Fall Guys. I really do think we're not getting any collabs this year besides Hex. I feel like this is a exception because it is kind of a small thing, you know, even though it is made by Darko, a huge prominent uh, character you could say in the community. I think because it is Darko, you know, him and, him and Scott are pretty tight and Darko has like, been talking to Scott quite a bit recently. I think it's pretty safe to say that Hex was an exception to that. Also, he can't just straight up say in that comment, you know, when he's talking about FNAF and Fortnite and Fall Guys, all that stuff, he can't just say, oh yeah, we are collaborating with Darko's brand new brand, which he hasn't announced yet. I don't think we're getting any collabs besides Hex, and hopefully this, sh this stuff should be coming out this year, because if I remember correctly, Darko did say summer for the Hex brand. Moving on to news on the FNAF ports, Click Team has put out news on the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Simulator ports and also the UCN ports. March 22nd, they tweeted out Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator receives a small update on Xbox One today. See below for details, new information on Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Sim for PS4 and UCN's overall release date is coming soon. The image says the following, an update is being pushed for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Sim today on Xbox addressing the following issues. Fixed inability to access the bottom two floor tiles of the largest floor plan and a miscellaneous other minor issues. We are working towards having soon some updates information on Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Sim for PS4 and UCN's release date. Sincerely, Click Team. The next day on the 23rd, they put out a tweet saying Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Sim arrives on PlayStation 4 on March 31st, 2021. Bearing any other issues, please read the image below for more info. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Sim now stands stands approved by Sony for release. The title now sits in metadata review, meaning Sony may over the next few days request changes to the store pages. Providing none are requested and we don't anticipate any at this point, then we can all enjoy Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Sim on our PS4 units on March the 31st. If there is a metadata change requested that could affect the release date, we will let you know. It has been a few days, so as far as I'm aware, there are no issues and we should expect to see the game on PS4 on the 31st, which is very exciting. A little bit of small news about the FNAF ports as well, all of them actually, which is very exciting and very generous of Click Team. They said in a reply, beyond bug fixes, our next big update plan is to add localized subtitles for as many languages as we can muster, which is so kind and it's going to make a lot of people be able to play the games. Moving on to some fanverse news, this is very exciting. It has been a good while since we've had 
bad news on fan games in the FNAF Fazbear Fanverse Initiative. Wow, that's a lot of <laughs> titles. Unfortunately, the Game Jolt page for the next Flumpty's game, one out of Flumpty's 3, has been leaked. Jonochrome did say in a tweet that he acknowledges the leak and that as far as we're all aware, he's kind of chill with it. I'll get back to that tweet later. I just want to point out that Jonochrome knows about it, he acknowledges it. As far as I'm aware, the page is still up. However, there are no trailers, teasers, screenshots, what have you that would actually kind of leak the game. So I feel pretty safe talking about this right now. The only thing really on the page is the banner and also a description. The end of the trilogy of FNAF parodies with an egg in them. One Night at Flumpty started out as an inside joke and has left more of an impact than I ever anticipated. I'm glad so many people have enjoyed playing these silly games with paper thin lore. Many thanks to Scarlet C for reaching out to me with the Fazbear Fanverse initiative and allowing this final installment to become a reality. Going back to Jonochrome's tweet, he also said that he will reiterate he does not know whether One Night of Flumpty's 3 will come out before or after all of the ports are done. That ball's out of his court, so all his attention's been on other stuff. So it does seem like, based on the wording of this tweet, is that the game's kind of done. So we really are just playing a waiting game when it comes to Click Team. They have ported the other two Flumpty's games, so it all comes down to this one. I can hopefully 100% say it's coming out this year. Of course, I can't really say that, but I feel, you know, like, we're, we're only going into the fourth month, and Click Team has been very fast with these Flumpty ports, so, boys, get hyped. Like, it's, it's coming, hopefully, pretty soon. Within the next couple of months, I would hope. Now, if y'all recall correctly, Kane Carter and Emil Mako were part of a team called Team EKS, and they were going to release a game called Chef Wanted. I believe we talked about this in a past FNAF news video. It was kind of quick. Unfortunately, the project was cancelled. In light of the cancellation, however, Team EKS released Chase Animatronics. From what I've seen, it's kind of like Pac-Man, where you are being chased by the ghosts, now the animatronic characters, and you are the Pac-Man security guard. It looks like it's a lot of fun. However, Hidden inside Chase Animatronics, from what we've seen so far, are two brand new teasers for Pop Goes Evergreen and FNAC 4. The first one is for Pop Goes Evergreen. This, of course, is our home diggity dog, Stone the Crow. He's got those terrifying glowing red eyes, and he's also rocking the red scarf. Also, dude, I'm a sucker for his beak. I think that beak looks amazing. It is very pixelated, so we can't really make out our buddy o pal, Stoney the Crow. And moving on to FNAC 4's teaser, we have the three little mini... Freddles, but for candy, the candles, the candles. As far as I'm aware, they don't have a official name, but I could be wrong there. We have seen these guys in a past teaser, but now we get a close-up shot of all three of them. Listen, man, these guys look adorable. I don't know how I'm gonna be scared by them. I think they look absolutely adorable. I don't believe we have any official release dates for uh, Pop Goes Evergreen nor FNAC 4. If I remember correctly, don't quote me on this, I'm pretty sure Kane said that Evergreen may come out next year but I can't remember, so don't quote me. FNAC 4, I have no clue. Moving on, let's talk about Security Breach because what the heck happened? Okay, so not only did we get a fake release date, we also got a confirmed release date for the NVIDIA showcase happening in April. I'll talk about the fake leak uh, quickly before we hop into the official legit news. So a couple of days ago, there was this leaked screenshot going around about the official release date and price tag for Security Breach on the on the PlayStation Store page. I was very skeptical, and I can 100% uh, say right now that it is a faked screenshot. Not only was the story super scuffed, it was only on the page, it was only on the PlayStation Store for a couple seconds, but I managed to get a screenshot, boys. But also, like, someone on Twitter literally was able to recreate it in, like, five minutes. Okay, it's like, come on. Some official news about uh, Security Breach, though, is that it will make an appearance on NVIDIA's conference showcase on April 15th. 11 a.m. EDT to 11.40. 40. 40 whole minutes of FNAF Security Breach? Wow. What are we gonna see? Just tech stuff. Uh, legit. Uh, <laughs> is it possible we get a bit more? Yeah, I would say it is. Though I feel like it could be unlikely. We got ourselves all hyped up back in January, I believe with the whole first NVIDIA showcase thing, and then we were all super upset because it was more panning shots. Even though that was literally the point of the showcase, was to show off the graphics and the, uh, whatchamacallit, the ray tracing for the game. I don't think we're gonna get anything big. 100% we're gonna see new locations. I, 
I, I hope we do. But don't get your hopes up, boys. Even though it is 40 whole minutes, I, I don't think, I'm gonna be straight up, I don't think that's like the show for the day. Because on the screenshot, it does say FNAF Security Breach. 40 minutes. I'm excited, even if it is just like tech stuff and they're going over like how the ray tracing operates, how it works on the game, I don't care. It's more content for SB. And also like, I can't wait to see more of the ray tracing, like that looks incredible. Now let's talk about FNAF AR. They announced that in April they will do another photo booth challenge. I guess they're just gonna keep doing this. I feel like this is their way to get people engaged with the game because they're not pumping out as much content as they used to last year. And also as a quick reminder, you can no longer get event tokens for this event and it also ends on the 31st. So yeah, it seems like we're gonna get brand new content for the game in April. I mean, let's be real. I think in April, we're gonna get Chocolate Chica and Chocolate Freddy. I'll actually be disappointed if we don't get them, even though they are skins and I hate the skins. Blah. It's just weird that Funko would make those OCs and have them be OCs and not based off of actual characters. It also fits with the whole like two skins per event uh, thing that they're doing this year. You got Baby and Bonnie for the Valentine's event. You had uh, Mangle and Springtrap for the Ancient Equinox event. And now you have Chica and Freddy for the April Easter event. I feel like that just, that makes sense, you know? And finally, I know this has been a very long news video, but I have been gone for almost a week. Again, I apologize, but this is the last topic for today. More U2's news, let's go. I'm actually really excited for these. I've seen a lot of hate on U2's recently. I've seen quite a few people in the community are upset that U2's are making figures and no longer Funko. Funko's still working on FNAF stuff. U2's is also working on FNAF stuff. Like, we can have more than one company make FNAF figures. It's not like Funko are the only people who can make, you know, figurines that have that same sort of style and aesthetic that U2s and Funko share. Whatever, man, I'm hyped. I've already bought like seven U2s at this point. Dude, I'm, I'm so excited. And I'm even more excited because not only are we getting figures based off of the FNAF collection, we're also gonna get another collection this time based off of the games and the fanverse initiative. Something that I do wanna point out is that interestingly enough, Kane Carter went on Twitter and said that he was not informed about the whole fanverse and U2's collection. Which is interesting because you think that Scott would tell them, right? I mean, legally he doesn't have to. You know, like he technically owns all the games in the fanverse now. Plus they are games that he's paid for, he has the license to based off of his creation. So technically, he really doesn't have to tell them, but I just find it a bit weird. So I would assume that the the developers for the fanverse games are just making the games, and then Scott is handling all the merchandise and ports. Well, technically the ports are click team, but you know what I mean. I just find it a bit weird that they don't know about all this. But anyways, boys, that does does it for this episode of FNAF News. Sorry I've been gone for so long, but hey, we came back with some banger news. Like I said at the start, I'm ready to hop back into videos. Like I said, we got all these boys tomorrow. Again, I'm really sorry that I was absent for like almost a week. I don't normally do that. I was kind of forced to. If you follow me on Twitter, which if you're not, what the heck are you doing? You'll know that I was going through some stuff that I really had to take care of. I'm feeling better now and I promise to bring awesome videos next week because next week, again, Security Breach Week. I've got so many great videos planned. Also, I've got a banger video coming out on April Fool's Day. It's about Darko, it's a parody song. I'm just excited to be uh, back making videos. And also, I am streaming on Twitch. So go follow me on Twitch. And also, if you made it to the end, just smash the like button already, subscribe. Like, what, you, you're telling me you watched through this whole video, you got to the end, and you're not subscribed and haven't smashed the like button yet. What are you doing? Yeah, I really do appreciate the support, and I'll see you all tomorrow.